Ah, Terra Luna Classic Holders, what's going on? So I don't want to waste any of your time. So that's why I'm here making this video because I want to lay on you an urgent insight in prior 24 hours from now. We're going to have the third Binance burn. And although that's really great news for the entire LUNC army, looking at the price, I can immediately tell you that there's something that I don't like. And that's why this is important. So let me go ahead and waste no further time. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys. Subscribe. Turn on those notification bells. Welcome aboard. Look, I can easily tell you from what I see that the price not only is going down, but momentum is going down. And this is something that for the first time we're seeing it. What, Oscar? First burn prior to the day of burning, price pumping, price very bullish. Second burn prior to the second burning price pump or you know price bullish third burn tomorrow october 17th right in the morning before 12 p.m utc time the price is not doing that if i go ahead and open my bollinger bands before the burning on the top of the bollinger bands prior to the burning bollinger bands on the top of the bollinger bands on that range right now Bollinger Bands, the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, the price. Erosai, Relative Strength Index. First burning, breaking, overbought. Second burning, pretty bullish, well above the medium. Third burning, almost reaching the bottom. This is all, these are all insights, all facts, no emotions, right? It just makes me believe that there could be a possibility, although tomorrow, once again, we're seeing very good, less than 24 hours, very good news for the entire community because that's what we want. We want more burns tomorrow, effective immediately. We're going to be passing 20 billion burn totally, more than 10 billion just Binance alone. That's really good, right? But I don't want to be blinded to what the effect in the price is because this immediate, I tweeted something earlier today. As soon as the price tries, st starts to correct, people start calling it a scam, not knowing that we're in a bear market. So relax, take it easy, and make sure you have enough for the bull market comes. So in this case, we're not seeing that shabby. We're not seeing that sexy. By looking at all of the indicators that I'm showing you, we hold, we held two weeks in this range that I created and I'm still living it because we are now going down. And if I go ahead and move my price a little bit, if tomorrow, by the time we get the burns, there's a chance that we're not going to do anything and we're just going to go down, period. That's it. There's a chance that could happen. And that, my friends, if you really are a Terra Luna Classic LUNC Army who goes to the Twitter spaces where Mr. Diamond Hams, Happy Caddy Crypto, and many people, if you come to my live streams and watch me and listen to what we're saying, if you go to any other content creators, read what the Terra Rebel says, and actually want to see this project grow, regardless of what happens tomorrow, just stay chill because there's so much fud right now and the comments down below are going to be f filled with dislikes of maybe and a comment saying this is a scam or whatever. It's going to be crazy, right? Which I, I can take it, no problem. But here I'm doing the best effort, in my opinion, to communicate with you a more strategic and more realistic price analysis, right? Because tomorrow is going to be key to fit the last piece of the puzzle and to finally say, well, after three burns, this is what we've learned. Therefore, first one was hype. Second one, the hype was going down. Third one is the realistic view that people have on LUNC and the ecosystem. And there's a chance that we don't even have a pump because take a look at this, more insights. When Binance announced that they were going to do this, 80% pump, man, whales had a blast. Then when the first burn came, 30, almost 30, 26% here on TradingView. It's pretty good. Insights, guys. Third one, only 5%. And these are only in the day of the burn. So if I go ahead and uh, I'm going to close this for us. If I go ahead and open up, let's say, a couple of days prior of the burn. So how the feeling was. Now we jump to 30. How about here? If I jump to let's say a couple of days prior, 
it's October 7th, now it's 10%. But right here, there's, there's nothing. It's actually coming down. Now, that's the reality. Now, if we take a look at USTC, which we covered yesterday a little bit, just to analyze further in detail, what I'm seeing right now is volume and views and interest is going down as the price goes down, which is okay, guys. And my Crocon, my Bitcoin, my AMP token, my other different projects that I believe and I like, I mean, interest goes down because it's price what people care and price goes down, then people are going to leave. That is totally normal. And I knew that was going to come eventually for Terra Luna Classic. We're not saying a dollar. We're not saying one cent. Right now, it's about utility and surviving. That's one of the things that you have to understand. All right? That's why there's a lot of changes in the proposals. I see your comments that some, sometimes you don't lack so many proposals up there. So it, this is an evolving community, an evolving project that Realistically speaking, it's going to take a while and 2022 is cooked for DeFi Web3 and, you know, NFT. So I wouldn't push Terra Classic to the extreme. Good insights, guys. So there's a chance that, realistically speaking, probably sell off a little bit more or consolidate. I'll be, I'll be very surprised if we go ahead and put a pump. Now, the pump is still possible because... Whales, I feel that they haven't done much. Only on the 13th, today is the, what, 16th? So about 48, 48 hours ago, we had a pump, which was really good with the market, but immediately sold off. So these are all the things and the analytics, guys, that are important to know. So this is bad a little bit because it's jeopardizing the growth short term. Of Taruna Classic. This is a little bit bad, guys, for short term holders and the community perception, but this is okay because it's like we're cleansing everything. This is bad short term, price related. This is good cleansing everything and like, okay, whoever wants to be here for reals, it's gonna stay. Whoever wants to be here for price and emotions, it's gonna leave. So this is good and bad. It is what it is. That's the way I see it, guys. Do you agree with that? I mean, at the end of the day, for Kronos, I'm talking and all the other projects that I hold, right? We were at the peak, then we're crashing, bear market feeling. It is It is what matters. It is what kind of you can feel at the end of the day. And well, here online, you can still see, right? The total burning and it's okay and we're growing and it's it's coming up and tomorrow we're going to see that it's going to be awesome and we'll see right here uh, how many hopefully it's going to be close to 3 billion still so that will be close to 1 million dollars burned by Binance remember extreme fear and this is growing by the day thank you guys for watching this is what i think hope this helps 24 hours from now oh baby let's go peace